It's that time again. It's Tuesday, but I'm um, voice over it on Wednesday. That sounds like a lot of words. But yes, I'm here back again to expose myself. The last video that I saw is when I created this set. Now I'm taking it off. It's four weeks later. Okay, you hear me? You see that growth? The nails don't look horrible. So we need to get rid of it. That extraness, but yeah, we need to get rid of them. My nail broke, by the way. Literally, it broke on the same day that I did them. I was so bummed up. It broke my entire nail, including the gel and my actual nail. So I will be just taking it off. This part was very easy. I never expected it to be that easy. I was planning on soaking them off, but I tested it all with a Q um a nipple, and they were just coming off. I was like, okay, all right, save me that trouble, sis. So I went in and just took them off with my cuticle nipples, easy breezy beautiful. So the next step that I'm going to take is to go in with my e-file, my sandy mount, clean up the nails, ensure that there was no product on the nails, my nails were so tender, I have such soft nails. Anyways, I envy anybody who have, you know, harder nails than I do, but I, yeah, my nails were so soft. So I went in with my sanding band after which I'll go in with my, <laughs> I will go in with my, uh, my bit. Yeah, it's obviously a bit, miss. Um, I'm going in with my cuticle bit, just going, you know what this process is. It enables you to push back your cuticles quickly and easily and not painful at all after which i will then go ahead and add some softener to my nails so if you tend to find that you have you know very stubborn cuticle area when you push back do this step use your your bits cuticle bit around it and then going with some softener and it will be easy breezy beautiful okay so after which you know i'm going to clean up around my cuticle area this part is extra nice i don't know why i needed to do this part because i didn't have excess cuticles on my nails or on my skin area so i'm extra so this is optional for anybody who wants to do it some persons tend to do it because i like the, the aesthetics of the nail it just looks clean yeah look at this guys it's a whole nail breaker can you imagine my nails were pretty low so it grew so yeah so the next step I will take is to just roughen up my nails with it, a slight rough up. I never rough it up as much because this is a, obviously a smooth up. So now I'm going with my emery board trying to shape the nails but my nails are too soft. So I had to go in with my um, my nail clipper and clip down the nails and then I went ahead and just shape up the nails to my desired liking. So I'll be using the acid bond, an acid primer um, from Savlon. Um, yeah, yeah, from Savlon, and I'll apply two layers because I like to ensure that you know it right, not now drop off. The next thing is I'll go in with my base coat, apply a very thin layer onto each of the nails. Um, after which I will then cure for the 60 seconds, 30 60 seconds. Yeah, I cured it for 60 seconds. After which I will then go ahead and apply a form to my nail. And then I went in with my Savlon Clear and built my nails. This part was pretty easy. Um, I love this product. I like gel. I'm very surprised with myself. I actually do because it's a self leveling product. Even though it takes time to learn on on or to grasp the concept, but it's the same method with acrylic. You have to gain the <laughs> you have to grasp the concept to understand or manipulate it. So. Yeah, well done and especially it was a little bit harder because it's on your toes and you're the one who's doing it so yeah it was pretty impressive and it's a self leveling product which was good also so i went ahead after i did what i did i did it like about three times just to ensure that i had just the right amount of gel on my nail and i was very much comfortable with after which i went in and removed the tacky layer of all the nails i didn't apply any gel onto the the builder gel rather onto the smaller toes is just a large tool because I obviously I had a break so I needed to fix it. So I went ahead with my emery board, smoothed out the nails. The other thing I said this in my other video that this product here is very easy to file and there was no like smell or odor from the coming from this product. Very very impressive to me. So I went in with my if my, my sanding band just to you know smooth out the nails. I didn't really need it to do much after which I just I don't think I smoothed out the nails yeah I'm learning 
yeah so i went in with this salon sa salon salmon um orange which at the time i thought was so popping but looking at it right now <laughs> i don't know my toes looking like they're looking very bright but yeah everybody you know everybody yeah, ended up on my foot my toes so yeah other than no so the only thing that i what i do take away from this or didn't i shouldn't have done is to apply those darn foils onto my nails they made them kind of look ugly they weren't do, they weren't giving me what i wanted okay so yeah so i did this gel polish like three times to end because there was a lot of streaking so i had to do it three times just to get the fullness and add top coat after i add, add the foil these are the nails they don't look too bad right now like yeah i like them so if you like them go ahead and subscribe to my channel follow me on my socials that's instagram and tiktok at bear beauty services if you want to see more videos like these let me know down below and i'll see you guys next time